In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily build a reliable and repeatable data pipeline on Hadoop using Cask Hydrator. Cask Hydrator is a reconfigurable, extensible, code-free, and highly functional framework enabling users to rapidly develop, run, automate, and manage data pipelines. We're going to build and run two data pipelines in this video. The first pipeline will train a model to classify messages as either spam or ham. The second pipeline will use the newly trained model to score unclassified messages. We will also explore the metadata generated by the pipelines using Cask Tracker and integrate that information into Cloudera Navigator. So let's begin by building the first data pipeline. This pipeline will read each message from a file, perform a minor transformation, and pass it to a naive Bayes classifier to train the model. I'm starting in the CDAP UI homepage. Our training data lives in a tab-separated text file, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a stream to load that data into CDAP. Streams are the primary means of bringing data from external systems into CDAP, and they can be created easily through the UI or from your application. Now that I've loaded the training events into my stream, I can see them directly in the UI. The second data stream is simply a list of unclassified messages. These will be fed into our model and classified accordingly. I'm going to create that stream now and load it with the unclassified data. Let's go to Cask Hydrator using the CDAP menu on the top left and create a new data pipeline in the studio. We can choose from many different plugin types on the left side of the screen. We have sources for bringing data into the pipeline, transforms for manipulating the data record by record in the pipeline, syncs, which write data to specific locations or platforms, aggregators, which can perform aggregations on the data in the pipeline, and compute and spark ML, which allow for complicated computations on the entire data feed. Hydrator is designed with expandability in mind, so it's easy to create your own custom plugins as well. For the training pipeline, we're going to read from our training messages stream. Transform the training data so that spam is 1 and ham is 0, and then train our naive Bayes model. We start by adding the stream source to our pipeline and configuring it to read from our training messages data source. The training messages are in a tab-separated values format. So we select that in the configuration as well. Because this is a stream, our output schema already has a timestamp and a headers column. But we also want to split our data into two columns, one for the label and one for the message itself. Next, I'm going to transform that data using the JavaScript transform. The JavaScript transform allows you to write arbitrary JavaScript code to make manipulations to data record by record. I'm going to use a simple JavaScript function to transform my labels from spam and ham into one and zero. Now I can connect this stream and JavaScript together through the UI. You'll notice that my input schema is the same as the output schema from the stream node. My output schema from this JavaScript transform is simply going to be two fields, one for is spam, which is a double, and one for the message itself. Next, I'm going to add my Naive Bayes Trainer. To configure the Naive Bayes Trainer, I provide a file set name, a path, the field that I want to classify, and the field I want to use for the prediction. Finally, let me provide a name for the pipeline and a brief description so my colleagues can understand what this pipeline does. Now, let's validate the pipeline and make sure everything is configured correctly. Everything looks good, so let's go ahead and publish the pipeline. Publishing a pipeline reconfigures a CDAP application template using a built-in planner and creates a physical workflow. Now that the pipeline has been published, we see an operational view of the pipeline. Here we can schedule, run, and perform lifecycle operations on the data pipeline. Let's go ahead and run the data pipeline once. While it's running, let's go explore the underpinnings of the data pipeline. Clicking on the CDAP FIST will take you to the CDAP view that shows the physical layout of the logical data pipeline. Now that the pipeline run is completed and the model has been generated, 
it's time to create the second data pipeline that will use this model in order to classify messages as spam or ham. Again, let's start in the studio view to build our pipeline. First, let's read from the unclassified messages stream that we created earlier. Next, let's use a pipeline to get rid of the timestamp in the headers since we don't really need that for this pipeline. Next, let's configure our naive Bayes classifier to classify the messages. We need to give it the same file set name and path that we provided to the trainer model earlier. We're going to send the results into two different locations based on the output of the filter. For that, we will need two JavaScript filters to read the isSpam field. Finally, we write the spam results to one location and the non-spam results to another. Now all that's left to do is name and pipeline, validate, and publish. As you can see, we also provide the ability to schedule the pipeline to run automatically. But for this demo, we're just going to run it manually. Now that the run was successful, let's look at the tables that we created for spam and ham messages. We can explore the data directly from the CDAP UI using simple SQL statements. These look like spam messages to me. Let's check our ham messages as well. Great, looks like our pipeline worked. The pipelines generate a lot of metadata that's captured by the underlying CDAP platform. There are three kinds of metadata, technical, business, and operational. The metadata is captured and indexed by a CDAP extension called Cask Tracker. Let's go to the tracker extension of CDAP and explore and view the different metadata that was generated. Cask Tracker is a self-service CDAP extension that provides users with visibility into how their data is flowing through their data lake. It allows you to perform impact and root cause analysis and provides an audit trail for compliance. All the metadata is indexed and exposed through a simple search interface. So let's start by searching for our ham messages that we just created. Here you can see the basic metadata associated with the ham dataset, tags, properties, and schema. If we want to find out how this dataset was created, we can click on the lineage tab. It will show us a DAG associated with how this dataset was created. We can also look at the audit log. Tracker not only collects, indexes, and helps visualize, it also provides seamless integration with other external MDM systems like Cloudera Navigator. Integration with Cloudera Navigator provides centralization of all the metadata in your cluster. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.